Howdy freeze dryers, welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. Do you ever get to the point in late July or early August or even late August and your garden is just overrun by about one million cucumbers? Today we're gonna figure out how to solve that problem. We're gonna use up all these uh, pesky cucumbers and actually make something that's really refreshing. Something that's gonna make a great snack, it's gonna use up a whole bunch of those cucumbers, give you some great nutrition, some great food storage. We're gonna do that coming up. Today we are making a cucumber salad, and I love this because this salad is so refreshing, especially during the hot months of summer like it is right now. It uses up a whole lot of cucumbers, and uh, it really, it's really only a few ingredients, and you can whip it together really fast. The only things that we need for ingredients today are a whole lot of cucumbers, we need an onion or two, we need some uh, sugar and salt, we need a little vinegar, you can use white vinegar or I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. And this recipe is an old one, it's been in my wife's family for a very long time because it's so simple and it's, uh, it's just stuff that you have usually around the house or that you have a bountiful amount of like cucumbers like this. I'm, uh, I'm actually doing 16 cucumbers. I'm gonna triple the recipe that I normally do because I think that's, uh, that's gonna give us about the right amount of uh, what we need for a medium freeze dryer. Just so you know, for a baseline, uh, a medium freeze dryer, each tray holds about six cups of liquid and really that's kind of what I try and stick to is six cups of no matter what you're putting on them, six cups maximum. And there's really not a right amount of cucumbers to use because they vary so much in size. I'm doing 16, these are pretty medium sized cucumbers. I know sometimes you get some really crazy big ones and uh, sometimes you know they just don't develop as well. Uh, really what you're, what you're wanting is about 24 cups, uh, somewhere around there, 20 to 24 cups of cucumbers. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dice all of these cucumbers in slices, into thin chip-like slices. You're also gonna wanna do the same. You're gonna wanna chop and uh, sort of dice about three onions. You can use red or the yellow onions. I'm using these yellow onions and they are enormous, so I'm just gonna do two. Obviously you can make your own, uh, you can make your own changes depending on how you like certain things. If you don't like onions, cut them out. The onions do add quite a bit of flavor in the mixture when we get all this together, which you'll see here in a little bit. And if you don't wanna cut these by hand and you don't wanna use a Vitamix or spend the money on a Vitamix, uh, a salad shooter that I've talked about on this program before, very handy, especially with the amount of cutting that you do with freeze drying. But I will tell you this, it took me about three minutes to cut 16 cucumbers with this Vitamix. So for me, time is valuable and there's only so much of it in this life. And then I went ahead and did that with my onions as well. I just kind of grated them through the, the processor. We're gonna take all these shredded onions or chopped onions and just mix them throughout and just make a whole mixture. We're gonna make our topping next, which is gonna be a combination of vinegar, sugar, salt, and a few other things. So once that's mixed up, we're gonna set that aside. I am gonna give you a word of warning. This can be very, very heavy on the onion side. Uh, there's a couple things you can do about that if you're worried about the amount of onions or if you're worried about your freeze dryer smelling. Uh, you can kind of separate that uh, before you freeze dry it or before you eat it or prepare it or whatever. But I do think that the onions, they actually absorb a lot of the sweetness in the vinegar and the sweetness of the sugar. And I think they add a lot to this recipe. So even if you're a little bit weary of the amount of onions, just, uh, just stick with it. I think it'll be worth your while. So we're gonna take three cups of vinegar for our mixture. I'm using apple cider vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. But we want three cups total. And then we also want a cup and a half of water, and I know that seems kind of counterintuitive, but uh, it will help dilute some of the stuff down, and actually you want to fully submerge these cucumbers for a while, so the water is gonna help do that. Then we want a cup and a half of sugar, which is a whole bunch, and then three teaspoons of salt. And then we're gonna stir that whole mixture until all the sugar and all the salt are dissolved into the water. We're gonna pour it over the top of all those 15, 16, however many cucumbers you used, and we wanna fully submerge those. 
And if you can't get all of them covered, you probably at least want to toss this a few times over the next 20 or 30 minutes just to get uh, just some even, even coverage. You can see mine didn't totally get all the way submerged, but if I keep doing this, you know, every five, 10 minutes, we'll get some good coverage. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix all of this together, get it all covered, and then we're gonna throw it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And no peeking for the ingredients for next week's recipe. And we're gonna leave that in there for 20 to 30 minutes. If you have the time, I would recommend going overnight or an extended period of time because it'll actually let the sweetness from the sugar and also kind of the tanginess and the, the sourness of the onion to get in there as well. And uh, it'll actually turn out a little bit better. All right, everything looks really good. I would suggest getting some tongs and this will that'll also help you uh, kind of mix everything if you want to do it with tongs, but definitely when you're placing this on trays, I would use some tongs. I'm using some silicone. I think that's a good silic it's a good silicone candidate today because it won't the, the moisture won't penetrate silicone like it will the parchment. But with uh, our sugar content, you never know, it might stick to trays. But you're just gonna take all of this stuff, and I'm actually going to leave almost all of the moisture on here. You can drain this off if you want to. You can run it through a, a colander or something if you wanted to. I actually, I hate to waste this good apple cider vinegar. I used unpasteurized and I think it adds lots of flavor and it, it definitely adds lots of nutrition. So it's very beneficial uh, to, to leave all of this. And I'm really kind of curious to see what happens to it when it freeze dries. Okay, you can see that I didn't use all of it. You're never gonna be able to nail it exactly because there's just, there's so much variation in cucumber sizes. I'm gonna throw some uh, stackers on from freezedryingsupplies.com. And I am actually not going to pre-freeze again because if I do, I'm not gonna have time to get this video out to you and you wouldn't be watching it right now. And I don't wanna do that to you. I want you to have a freeze drying recipe this week. So we're gonna go straight to the freeze dryer. That'll also kind of give us an interesting uh, look at how long cucumbers are gonna take. Because again, they are mostly water and I don't wanna fill my trays too full because I just think that this batch is gonna take a long time otherwise. So take a minute to subscribe while you have a minute and make sure that you click the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That'll send notifications to you every time we release a video. That's Sundays at 8 a.m. for us. And if you like the videos and you found them helpful, let us know, let YouTube know by giving us a thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of the accessories like the stackers or the silicone or our parchment, we have lids for these trays as well. Make sure you check out freezedryingsupplies.com. We have lots of accessories that just will really make your life a little bit easier. It's really gonna help streamline your freeze drying production process. And if you're curious about freeze drying, make sure you join one of our social media groups. We have a Facebook group, we have a MeWe group, and it's just retired at 40's freeze drying group. Lots of smart folks on there, lots of experienced freeze dryers, including myself, and you can ask questions. You can also search old threads, you can search members, you can search uh, keyword topics by using this magnifying glass right here. And if you're curious about the freeze dryer itself, make sure you use our affiliate link. It can be found down in the description below. Uh, that'll take you to Harvest Rights website. It'll let them know that we sent you there. We provided all this glorious information for you, got you turned on to freeze drying, and that sends us a small commission. And we appreciate it every time that happens because that allows us to build the community. Uh, it helps us educate the freeze drying community and it helps us develop products, helps us do giveaways in the groups, uh, really just benefits everyone. So we're gonna let our cucumbers go through the freeze drying process. Like I said, this might be a longer one because it's very, there's a lot of moisture in there. So 97% water in a cucumber, I would expect a longer, uh, longer than normal cycle time, but we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in a while. Well, it didn't turn out to be as long of a cycle as I thought it was gonna be. 31 hours and 21 minutes. My trays are warm, but something like this that has piles of kind of layer after layer, we're gonna use our infrared thermometer. That's this guy right here. This is not an exact science, but I do like being able to see if there's any cold spots. 
So all of this is reading in the 90s, but if all of a sudden this dropped down to like 40 degrees or something, then you're gonna know that there's a spot in there that's still frozen and it's not complete. This is all in the hundreds here. So everything's looking good. I think that that's a good sign. Again, this is not an exact science, but with certain foods especially, this can be really helpful. These are only about 20 bucks. I'll put, I'll put a link down below if you're interested in, in this. I use it probably, I don't use it on every, every single cycle, but I do find it helpful for certain things like today's food. So I'm gonna bag up our cukes. I'm gonna use our Avid Armor. I think you wanna be careful when you package these to not smash them too much because it's, it would be pretty easy to make them into a powder. You can see most of them stayed whole, but there's a good portion of them that, that did not. Uh, once they're all freeze dried, they do all kind of separate. They kind of, when they first came out of the freeze dryer, they look like they were real clumpy, but as they, uh, as they kind of move around, they separate pretty good. So I would suggest, since there's a lot of water in this salad, I would add a little bit of water, I would mix it, and just kind of let everything soak in, and then I would, uh, I would probably give it a couple minutes, and then I would slowly add more water back into it. So now that it's been a couple minutes, you can kind of see that it did turn a little more mushy than I wished it would have. This is the first time that I have done this, and it's, it's not gonna turn out as well as if you used just a fresh cucumber, added our vinegar and all of our other stuff that we added in. Taste-wise, it's mostly there. It does cut down the vinegary taste a little bit. And for some of you, that might be a good thing if you don't like the vinegary taste and it also cuts down on the onion taste. I don't feel like it was 100% win today just because of the texture. It's not terrible, it's still totally edible, still very good, still tastes pretty much 100% the same way, but it's not 100% win with uh, just the rehydration part of it. I hope this helps you at least get rid of some of those cucumbers in your garden. This takes up a lot of cucumbers and it's a tasty meal and you can enjoy it year round. You can also keep these in the cucumber chip form. They're very good that way. They kind of remind you of the, uh, the vinegar and salt and pepper kettle chips a little bit. It's very heavy vinegar taste. You get a little bit of that onion taste and you get the crunch of the cucumber. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.